Hey, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to our weekday family devotions. Happy Friday. Congratulations. You've made it to the end of another week. Let's pray together and ask God's blessing on our time today, shall we? Father, we love you and we thank you for the day you've given. And Father, we pray together today that you would bless and honor our time. Lord, as we come to thee, uh, we ask that you would encourage us and help us, Lord, as we look into the pages of Scripture, may you lift our spirits, encourage our hearts, and uh, Lord, teach us something of thyself. And Lord, we pray that you'd send revival, and we pray all of these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome again to our weekday family devotions. Let's go ahead and open our Bibles together to Psalm 32. Psalm 32, a psalm of David, he says, Blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Blessed is the man unto whom the Lord imputeth not iniquity, and in whose spirit there is no guile. And uh, when I kept silence, my bones waxed old through my roaring all the day long. For day and night thy hand was heavy upon me. My moisture is turned into the drought of summer. Selah. I acknowledge my sin unto thee, and mine iniquity have I not hid. I said, I will confess my transgressions unto the Lord, and thou forgavest the iniquity of my sin. Selah. For this shall every one that is godly pray unto thee in a time when thou mayest be found. Surely, surely in the floods of great waters uh, they shall not come nigh unto him. I want you to notice what the Bible says in verse 7. What a, and may I tell you what powerful verses the opening six verses were, or what they are. Uh, speaks of salvation, uh, the forgiveness of sin, uh, maintaining right fellowship you know, with God. But in verse 7, the Bible says this. He says, Thou art my hiding place. Would you mark that statement in verse 7? Thou art my hiding place. What does this mean that we can go and, and find shelter? That's exactly what it means. It Really, it's a great picture of, of being covered up. Uh, just think of, of your child, for instance. The child runs to you in fear uh, or injury or in time of peril or trouble. They come to you and they bury their face uh, in your side and, and you wrap your arms around them and you're covering them. This is what God does. When you can run to the Lord, you can come to Him in times of difficulty and in times of trouble and He embraces you. He covers you with Himself. He says, Thou shalt preserve me from trouble. Thou shalt compass me about with songs of deliverance. And, and you know, as, as, a, as a parent wraps their arms around their child and, and, and uh, declares to them that it's going to be okay, this is what God does. These are the songs of, of deliverance. He says, it's going to be okay. I've got you. Everything's all right. Nothing's, nothing can come to you. You're safe now. This is, these are the, this is what God does. He says, I will instruct thee and, and, and teach thee in the way which thou shalt go. I will guide thee with mine eye. Be, not the, be ye not as the horse or as the mule which have no understanding, whose mouth must be held in with, with bit and bridle, lest they come near unto thee. He says, Many sorrows shall be to the wicked. But notice, He that trusteth in the Lord, mercy shall come uh, shall come pass him about. Be glad in the Lord. Rejoice, ye righteous. And shout for joy, all ye that are upright in heart. You know, in times of, of hardship, it's, it's difficult uh, to have joy, isn't it? But joy doesn't come from the hardship. Joy comes from the arms of God in whom we find ourselves. And take, take, count, take joy today. Don't, don't live uh, with no understanding. Know that God is good and that He is faithful and that He's got you. Christian, when, when things go awry, when things are difficult, when things happen that, man, that you just never force, never, never imagine, it's going to be okay. You can go to the Lord. He's faithful. He'll hold on to you. He'll let you know it's going to be okay. And you can find joy in sadness as you rest in the arms of a loving Savior. Father, we thank you for the day you've given. And Lord, our prayer is that you would help us today to have our joy not in circumstance or in people, but in thee. 
And so, Lord, we ask that you would give us your grace today. Lord, that you'd please send revival. And we ask all of these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thank you for joining us. As always, it's an honor to have you. We're praying for you. And I uh, want to make sure that, that you come to church Sunday. We've got some very special things in store. And we're seeking God together and are excited about what God is doing. So be praying. And Lord willing, we will see you in church on Sunday morning. God bless you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.